to the 2012 London Olympics with the opening ceremony being Friday, July 27th. As a part of the kickoff, we're here in New York City where Times Square has been transformed into a festive Olympic village, shining a spotlight on the inspiring stories of the athletes that make up Team USA. Thanks so much for being here with us today, first of all. Uh, tell us where you're from. Uh, I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati, Ohio. Shout out to Cincinnati. You got some people in the Hilton Honors. There you go, over there. Uh, how did you get interested in boxing? Uh, when I was six years old, you know what I mean? My older brother, he was fighting, and I was always following everything he was doing. So I started when I was six, my first fight when I was eight years old. Now I'm a three-time Olympian. Wow, that's incredible. When you were eight years old, that's crazy. Did your parents have any... any uh, you know, restrictions, or they, were they worried about it? Or uh, Yeah, because um, I was kind of a smaller kid, and I was fighting, you know, little taller guys that was my age and my weight. And um, my coach was kind of telling my mom to sit back and just watch because <laughs> she don't see everything I do in the gym. She just see when I fight. So she was kind of nervous trying to pull me out the ring until the bell ring. She saw me <laughs> going out there because the gloves came down to my elbows when I was small. But uh, she, after she seen my first fight, then she was just there from she was just there from day one. That's incredible. Uh, you said you won your first fight at eight years old, first amateur match in 1995, and now you're the first ever U.S. boxer to qualify for three Olympic boxing teams. That's incredible. Uh, you qualified in 2004, 2008, and now in 2012. Can you tell us uh, when you qualified for 2012? How did that feel? To I mean, you'd already done it twice, so was it kind of like ah, I got this, or was it, it every time it's the same feeling? Uh, this was, um, well, it was kind of the same feeling, you know, because I'm still on my journey going to the Olympics. You know, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still trying to reach the, I'm still trying to get the goal. You know, I mean, um, I got to take step by step and day by day each and, you know, practice uh, real hard and, and reach my peak in training and see what the coach go bring to the table for me. That's awesome. Um, so, uh, can you tell us, I know Rashi's your name. What's your nickname? Baby Pitt. <laughs> what is it? Baby Pitt. How did you get that? Can you? Uh, cause um, I was back home fighting. I was back home training, matter of fact. And um, one of the, one of these guys came in a um, gym, and it, me and one of my teammates was, you know, we was going at it, and it just sounded like like dogs in there. Like we was like a lot of growl, a lot of ah 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 ah. Right. So they were like, oh, baby pit in there. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm about to stick with that name. Awesome, awesome. Um, so w tell us what it feels like to be here in Times Square. We talked about Marlene, about you know, how New York City is such a great city, and it's, it is great, and it's, it's always great, but today it's even greater and more special because all these people are here supporting you and the Olympic team as a whole. How does that feel to have that support behind you? Man, it's an honor to be um, here in New York for the 100 days out. I mean, coming from where I'm coming from, I mean, I cherish everything, you know, that's being thrown to me. Like, soon Julie called me, I jump up and get ready to catch my plane, you know, because this is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. And being here on Times Square, just seeing all these big buildings and stuff, where I come from, it's kind of small. Yeah. So I ain't used to big cities. I mean, I could come visit, but I can't live. Right, right. Good. All right. Well, we're happy to have you. Actually, what's your, what's your favorite exercise? Do you do an exercise every day that you like that you, that's not like uh, you don't have to roll your eyes and go, okay, I'll do this one. I, it's one I like to do? Well, I kind of, for me, and uh, my teammate uh, Marcus Brown, he from New York, uh, it's like me and him kind of feed off each other energy as far as like when we got the iPod in, we just start dancing. It's like when we just start dancing, like listening to music, then we just get to feed off each other. Then I look over, he dancing, then we get in training. That's awesome. I like that. I'm Crystal Hart reporting from Times Square, and thanks for watching.